Hello there, my name is Adrian Gundy from the Centre for Competitiveness and in this session we're looking at time management. You know somebody once worked out that in every 8 hour working day we have 480 minutes. It's a bit like someone giving you 480 pounds to spend at the start of each working day. And the only proviso is that you to spend all 480 pounds and at the end of the day whatever you've not spent will be taken off you and then tomorrow you get another £480 to start again. Well that's exactly how it is with time. We get 480 minutes in a normal 8 hour working day and it's how we make the use of those those minutes that really is what counts. And to help us look at this we have a famous 2x2 two two matrix here and on this one we're going to use uh, this horizontal axis as urgency. Here we have high urgency and here at this side of the scale we have low urgency. And on our vertical axis we're going to use importance. We have low importance here and we have high importance here. And by looking at our work in this way we can get a feel for where we have uh, opportunity to utilize our time better. So let's start in this box here which is low importance and low uh, urgency. It's a kind of trivia stuff. It's the kind of stuff that uh, might be junk mail, uh, might be gossip, might be talking with people, uh, daydreaming, um, getting caught up in things which aren't really related to our job, maybe the trivia kind of things. Um, really when you think about it, they're all the things that we could really eliminate. And what's interesting is, how much of our time might you think might be taken up with tasks like this? Tasks that really are of low urgency and low importance, tasks that we could actually eliminate. Well, the research done some years ago was still seem to hold sway. And 22% of our time is taken up, on average, with tasks that we can really, in effect, eliminate. And one of the things we get uh, on, our, on our workshop day is we, we ask people to think about the time that they spend on doing things and we encourage people to go away and record the major uh, activities in the day and try to identify just where the time is spent and often we find a high amount of time is actually spent in activities that we can eliminate uh, right from the work go. So there's a potential 22% saving for our time. It's quite remarkable isn't it? So that's in the box that is really about low importance and low urgency. But now let's look at low importance and high urgency tasks. Low importance and high urgency tasks so are in this box here. And these often masquerade as things which are high importance. They certainly would seem to be high urgency, but not really important. Maybe the, the thing to do here is to minimize. So what kind of things are we really thinking about when we talk about these kind of high urgency and low important tasks. Well, often phone calls is the typical example. When the phone rings we tend to find ourselves answering the phone irrespective of whether or not we're doing something else. So the phone is a low uh, importance but a high urgency thing. Uh, some mail and some email falls into that bracket also. Reports are often in that way. We're often included on reports uh, as a CC and the email distribution and yet there's no reason why we should be opening the reports as soon as we get our email. In fact many people find just doing their email as and when the emails come in and the ping goes off on the computer to be time wasting and would manage email at particular times in the daytime. Perhaps drop in visitors, maybe your organisation is one which encourages uh, staff uh, to colleagues to come and drop in or even for customers and suppliers to do that. And unannounced and unexpected drop in visitors can be a problem. And uh, how much time do you think, uh, on average, the research has shown that we spend in doing this type of activity, which we can minimise? Well, you might be surprised to find out that it's a whopping 49%. Almost half of our time is on activities which masquerade as high urgency and yet in truth are low importance and which we can minimise. It really is quite shocking to think that. And now we have some low urgency and high importance activities. Low urgency and high important activities. 
these are often things that we need to plan for. And so the secret here is to plan, is to plan time into our diaries to give us time to actually spend the time we need to on these low urgency yet highly important tasks. So maybe we have to prepare for a meeting. Maybe we have to uh, build relationships, make time to speak with staff, with team members, make time to talk with customers or suppliers, make time to manage with people. The preparation of reports is another one. Um, whether we're doing monthly reports, uh, accountancy reports for example, or whether we're reporting on exceptional things. Uh, the secret to managing this time is to plan the time so that these low urgency yet high important tasks get enough time. And surprisingly enough, the research indicates that on average as people, we only have 10% of our time set aside for this. Now straight away it's a, it appears as a very low number and we have an opportunity here to be able to plan more time to better use that time. Especially if we're saving 22% here and we're minimizing this 49% down to maybe a third of that or half of that. So realistically speaking there's up to 50% more time available from us as individuals to be able to spend and uh, invest in, in better activities and those low urgency yet highly important SAS or one such good area in which to plan. And of course that leaves our last quadrant which is the high urgency and the high importance and uh, perhaps these are the crisis things, these are the things that, that crop up that we have to deal with. Uh, so perhaps the word is manage, we need to manage these more effectively. Certainly uh, reacting to customer complaints Reactive problem solving is one. Crises is another one. Uh, unexpected meetings, unexpected demands, high level demands, things of that nature. When we look at the research, approximately 19% of our time as leaders and managers is spent looking at this kind of thing. And uh, rather than try and reduce the amount of time that these things accommodate and demand for us, is to reschedule the time make our savings from these bottom two quadrants here and reinvest them into planning and into maybe managing more effectively the high importance. And all the time is trying to identify and understand what really is and makes for a high important task rather than a high urgency task. Uh, often uh, tasks which come to us uh, and activities that come to us as high urgency are in fact not really high urgency at all and uh, they're low urgency and, and they masquerade as high urgency. Almost half our time is, is dealt dealing with that. And so in this very simple plan uh, on the whiteboard here we have a few thoughts around how we can actually extricate and extract more time from our working day. Uh, for the full day workshop on time management then uh, we give you a whole series of tools and techniques around this and how to do this and we also have a self-assessment instrument that actually helps you analyze your own time and your own personal capabilities with the idea that at the end of the day we develop a personal action plan to try and help you change your behaviors and become more effective in how you manage your time. You'll find all the details on our website all the w's dot c f o r c dot org. Thanks for your time. Drop by again soon.